Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Junk Punk. And man, oh man, have I discovered some things <laughs> that are that are a little concerning. So we've got our uh let's see, last episode we've got Asium being harvested. In fact, it looks like our inventory is full here. We'll have to think about that. Um and we've got two drawer drones kind of doing that work right now. They're probably on hold now until we can clear that inventory. But I was looking at our production last uh, or, or production requirements. Kind of towards the end of the last episode, I was thinking, let's get to the air extractor and get another ground. Um, a gr what do they call this here? Basically another extractor to get our phosphorus. Uh, and get those raw minerals collected. But now I'm thinking we've got other priorities. And I'll tell you why. If we go into the little recipe view here. Right now we're collecting the potassium, right? And in order to get the pure potassium. It is down here. We can see it takes one potassium ore. And two roller crushers. I believe... To get us the pure potassium and that's made in a crusher well if we need two crushers per potassium we need 6,000 roller crushers let's see what that takes roller crushers are up here they take two plastic ingots and one platinum ingot so now we need 12,000 plastic ingots I believe just to create the roller crushers needed to get us 3,000 pure potassium that we can then put in vials and send into the uh, monolith too. It's a similar story for the nitrogen. These guys want two filters, I believe, per batch. And the same with the uh, phosphorus. Two filters there. Fortunately, filters are made of the same material as the crushers. Looks like a platinum and two plastic ingots. So the short story is we need to massively scale up on platinum production and even more so on the plastic ingot production so we can produce, get started on producing all of these crushers and filters that we're going to need. The raw material the impure minerals and stuff that's doesn't look like that's going to be a huge deal right but the other stuff is so we need to find a place to mass produce phosphorus and plastic and then uh be able to feed that let's see let's see what is the factory to build those fabricator and fabricator for all of that. And then the roller crushers will get fed into the crusher, which is down here, an NWR crusher. So yeah, we've got some factory planning to do, a lot of production to do, and I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't get a drone pad just bringing in um, Stuff to make the alloy. Or at least bring in... Yeah, the stuff to do the alloy, right? We need... Rare metal scrap for aluminum. And we need, you know, just plain old scrap for... Our... Steel ingots. Those are the two ingredients needed to make the alloy. And the alloy is just important for the platform here if we want to build it out. I've got some alloy on me. I don't, or produced, I don't have enough to make all of the foundations I think we're going to need to build out a huge factory. So we could start with that. There might be room for a couple drone pads here. I'd have to move the power again. But it might be interesting to get a couple drone pads, or maybe even just one, that could fill up a storage hopper full of scrap and fill up a storage hopper full of, um, of the, what was it? The rare metal scrap. That would, in theory, get us all of the, uh, alloy we could ever want. 
Uh, and then we can build platforms as far as, far as, far as we want. Um, let's see. I did make some more alloy. Let's take a look and see what we've got in here. Oops, it's going to be in here. We've got a little bit. I can grab another stack of 200. What do I got? 519 plus another 62 in there. Hmm. Yeah, what I'm thinking right now is just do I want to pop a drone pad down here to fill this guy up with scrap? Got some scrap over here. Yes, let's uh, let's grab some of that. In fact, I think I may have this guy already doing some smelting. No, he's empty. Let's fill up this while we're thinking. And we'll smelt up some steel bars. And then I think I've got some aluminum already in here and I've got a little supply over here, a little stash. We can grab a couple more of those. Pop those in there. That'll get us some more alloy. Oops, not here. Into the forge. Boom, boom, boom. That'll get us started, but I'm wondering, like I said, if we should plunk down one more little drone pad here. And then we could either feed this storage with scrap or feed this storage with the rare... Or not storage, but this... uh boundary with the um rare metal scrap I don't know that I've got a bunch of rare metal scrap around I might have a little do I have I've got some yeah I've got some this was all harvested by hand we can use drones to do it now take a couple of those pop them into the foundry Boom, boom. That'll get us plenty of aluminum and plenty of foundations. All right. Let's see. I guess we should try to do that. Maybe a drone pad right here. Let's try it. Let's get some foundations down. We'll just forge ahead and see how it works out. Oops. I could sit here and think about it for about four episodes. That wouldn't be too fun to watch. But what I'm thinking right now is let's get a drone pad down here. Harvesting scrap initially. And then we've got it if we need it and we can repurpose this drone pad later if we want. Okay, let's see if it'll fit. I'm going to need probably materials to do this. Uh, electronics, right? And gears. Electronics and gears. I'll need copper. I've got some of that on hand. Uh, that's gold. I'm not even sure what we use gold for. Yeah, I got lots of copper. Let's make some electronics at the craft bench here. Gonna chew through a bunch of our materials, but I know we're gonna need these electronics, so let's just grab a bunch. Once we get the scrap coming in, I think we can maybe... Well, we'll have to see. I was gonna say, I think we could craft some more... Uh, Copper out of that if we need to. Out of the scrap. Alright, let's do a drone pad. Will it fit? No, I'm gonna need more room. Gonna need more room. Probably at least one more, two more rows to make this look decent. Do it. Okay. 
And this one's going to be tough. This corner here, I think, is going to be tough to get where I want it. Oh, I had it. Boom. Drone pad. I think the drones will automatically move over to using this pad. Gotta get out of my own way here. Let's look at it from this angle, too. How about... Right there. And for now, I'm going to use... I guess we'll use a... WR belt. Will that work? Boom. And then, can I set you to get me scrap? Let's see. We'll see if anybody comes and does it. We gotta power this up. I think I've got a convenient power connection right here. Not that convenient. Uh, power pole. Yeah, boy, we've got way more factory building than I thought we had left to do. But we've got quite a bit. We got to uh, get on it. All right, that should get us the scrap. And then we might be able to wiggle that belt. Take that belt down and wiggle it over here to feed in... Um, more of this rare metal scrap. Let's turn this on. I've had that turned off. Use some aluminum for us. And we want more. We want more. We want more alloy so we can put foundations down. We need to kind of blanket the entire ground over here, I think. In foundations because uh, we have a lot of production to set up. There's 200 more. I'm going to take all of this. I got to bring up my inventory apparently to get that in. Okay. Curious if a drone will drop off here. Should we be pumping this into storage? Let's see. This has what? 8, 16, 24 slots of storage. And we do have a storage unit, an NWR storage unit. It says 30 slots. That's not super impressive. But we could platform out here and put storage. And then maybe repurpose these drones to gather other stuff for us. Once we get the uh, 3,000 potassium we're after, we could repurpose this. To maybe get us something else. Maybe the maybe this turns into our plastic factory later. Uh, or plastic... Yeah, refinery. Let's... um. Hmm. How big are the storage containers? Uh, not horrible. 30 slots. 30 slots would be what? 600? Right? 3 would be 60. 30 would be 600 units each. We would need five storages to store all of the potassium we want. Hmm. Anybody? Oh, let's take down the drone count on this thing down to one. Can we do that? Boom. Maybe we'll get a drone over here to bring us some scrap. Okay. Working drones is one. I 
that's fine. Should get some scrap in here, hopefully. And right now I'm just thinking, how do we make use of this drone pad? Because right now it's full. Do we want to start processing or focusing on processing that potassium ore? Again, we need those little grinders. Rollers. And for that, we need plastic. Hmm. Plastic and platinum. Okay, did we get some scrap here? Let's see. What? What? I'll take that off your hands. Not sure if that belt's going to work or what's going on here. All right, that drone is off heading in a different direction, which is good. Not sure if this belt's going to work. It didn't seem to, did it? Where to store the potassium? That's kind of what I'm thinking about now. Definitely don't want to go in that direction, so it's got to go off in this direction. I'm just wondering... How much to store and should we repurpose this this particular drone port to bring in plastic or um platinum or the metal required you know the scrap required for the platinum uh we've got plenty of platforms we know we're gonna platform out here let's do that while we're thinking i'm gonna take a minute to build this out Lighting's not helping things at all. Not sure where the edge is of this platform. We can start from here. I know we're going to need more. Lighting is not helping you. we had lights that we could place down. Alright, that's a little bit more platform for us. What could we do? We could do a whole storage array. I could run a belt kind of doing a right angle and coming down here and just filling a bunch of storage full of Potassium, and then we could run another row of storage, maybe for plastic processing, and have a whole line of that. Just not sure how I want to do it. How I want to do it. Hmm. See if we got scrap yet brought in. Not sure if we have a way of knowing actually. If our drone brought it in. Uh, I don't see any. Just trying to envision this. If we put in, if I had a storage right where I'm standing full of potassium, then eventually that would need to combine, that would need to go into a crusher along with along with those uh, little rollers. Sorry. Thinking here... Yeah, these roller crushers, those are going to take 
platinum and plastic. Mm-hmm. All right, let's just start doing. I'm going to build a storage. Man, these are big. Hopefully I can get a belt weaved around to fill this here. In fact, we could take a belt from that side if we wanted to. Uh, how about right there? Let's see. Do these need to be the big belts? Medium belts. Um, See what we can do. Make this look reasonable. Can we make a turn here that doesn't look horrible? Yeah, I'm not sure. Doesn't look great, but it'll do. I'm gonna power this. Or let's change the resource to plastic. Okay. I see. One's got a big port. One's got a little port. Okay, is that some scrap coming in? Let's just see this in action. This is basically our source for foundations. What are you going to get me? How much? Oh, 200 per trip. It's not horrible. Not horrible. We'll take it. It's going to be slow. We'll probably want to get more drones going. Let's see. How is our forge doing? Just waiting on that steel to come in. Got plenty of aluminum. Probably want to prioritize another um, another drone, right? For the scrap, I don't think we're going to have too much problem with this um, with the potassium. Oh man, we've got so much to do. We've got so much to do. All right, let's see if we can get more drones built. Uh, front unit. Thrusters and lasers. Thrusters and lasers, two to one. Drones are where it's at. It's gotta be how we scale. We want the front unit is going to take five alloy and drive cores. 
need a drive core. That's over here, right? So 10 alloy. So let's put in 20 alloy here. That'll do. Drive core. Are we going to get it? Uh, do you not have power? You claim not to have power. Underpowered. Okay, things are roaring to life here. Now it's got power. There's one. There's two. It's fine actually if it makes more. Let's pop these into here. Okay, there's our front unit. Sorry, I'm going slow here. We need another... No, we just need electronics. Grab some of those. Pop them in here. Didn't want that many. Let's do this way. There's a rear unit. Now we need two lasers. You need 20 electronics for that. We're running out of electronics. I'm going to split the stack here. Here unit. Another one. Laser, laser, thrusters. With these, you need gears. I'm gonna have to make some more gears. Can you make gears? You can. Let's kick on the gear recipe till we get up to 20. Uh, I'm gonna need to feed this some more alloy, probably. But we are, we have some kind of coming in slow. If we can get up to 20 gears. Oh, those don't stack when I do it this way. Okay, that should be enough of that. The rusters. For some reason the gears don't stack when they're in the machine, but I can stack them in my inventory. A little bit of a glitch. We need a little more alloy. Do we have any coming down the line? Slow. It's very slow. That's why we're making another drone. We'll assign this one to the scrap. In the meantime, I can drag some. Boom. Boom. Here's a little boost. Ten oil, alloy, ten gear, six oh electronics were missing, sorry. Boom, Let's throw those in there. Okay, there's one, we need one more, and then we can go craft at least one more drone. Oh man. Yeah, these drones are gonna be handy. It's gonna take a little while for us to scale up. But man, is it gonna save the time? Here you go. Boom. We got one extra. What is this? A rear unit. Deploy. This guy we have set down to maximum one. And that one is set to two. Where we're doing the scrap. Probably want to have this one maxed. 
for forever. There's two, so we've got two working drones on this. We should slowly, slowly bring in scrap. And then, uh, like I said, I've got some extra aluminum on hand. I can kind of hand feed this. We've got plenty in the, um, in the forge right now. So we don't have to worry about this too much. That should get us at least, here comes some scrap now. That'll get us what we need for our, you know, to build more foundations out. Meanwhile, our storage is filling up with potassium. And because we don't have the um, production of the rollers going, that's why I switched this guy over to plastic. So hopefully we'll get some plastic. None doesn't look like any has been brought yet. But what I was thinking of doing is running another line here. Uh, for our plastic processing and smelting. So let's see what that's going to take. It might just be the forge. Let me take a look. Or the foundry, I should say. Can I make... I can. Out of plastic scrap. Plastic ingots. Two to one. We need a whole bunch of plastic ingots. And we're going to need a bunch of platinum as well. So let's do storage. How do we want to do this? Just debating on how many dedicated machines versus, you know, switching things around. Like this one, I imagine we're going to be switching between bringing in the potassium and bringing in plastic. Plastic's going to come through. We can immediately run that through the boundary, right? Like immediately just start turning that into plastic. I think. I'm trying to find a good location for this. It would look better there, but maybe... Maybe this is a... I'm uh, missing something. Auto Foundry, any gears? Let's go craft some of those. Gears. While we're here, we may as well make use of this scrap. Let's, uh, feed some of this in. Gonna speed up the process a little bit with the stuff that we've got harvested. And then, yeah, right now I'm looking at setting up a line that is either gonna be single use or dual use for the plastic and for the platinum. That's what I'm placing right here. There's a foundry for that. I think this could come up fairly close. Right? Let's pop that down. Plastic scrap will come in. We'll turn it into ingots. And rare metal scrap will come in and we'll turn that into platinum ingots. So we might have like a couple different storages here. How do we want to do it? How do we want to do it? Yeah, those are going to both be fed in. The plastic is going to be fed into a fabricator eventually. For all these things, for all the filters and all the roller crushers. But boy, the scale is just huge on this. So how do we want to do it? Do we want another whole dedicated line? A whole another dedicated line just for the platinum. Meaning another drone port at least. I think 
that's what we're going to have to have. Let's, um, oops, let's belt this up. We could... Just use regular storage. I'm kind of wondering if we should daisy chain these things a little bit. Of course, I need more resource. Um, this would be our buffer of plastic. If I were to daisy chain some of these guys, let's grab some rubber and some scrap. I'll show you what I mean. Gotta remember to hold on to some scrap for crafting. Uh, one's probably enough rubber. Oh man, we've got so much to do. We've got so much to do. something like this may be goofy and I might get rid of it 60 per storage unit huh guess I should have grabbed a little bit more scrap are slow we can only get two per also man that's uh i'm not super happy about that taking a long time right to get these uh these materials in comes another 200 watch this guy drop off Yeah, it's faster than harvesting our, on our own, but just barely. All right. In fact, I may grab a stack of this. Just to have it. We not even need the buffer here. If we go with two drones... What I was thinking of doing is... Having a buffer to store up a bunch of... Plastic discs, because we need like 6,000 of them. But the drones are so slow to bring stuff in. In fact, I don't know why they're not bringing in plastic yet here. Right? We haven't gotten any plastic, I don't think, unless it went into this storage. Yeah, we've got something to troubleshoot, I believe. Idea what that drone just did? Did it drop off more? Yeah, it did. That's good. We need somebody to bring plastic over here. Do I need to toggle this thing on and off? We have not gotten a load. We've got a work one working drone. It's assigned. It's on. We've got the resource selected. This has been sitting for a long time. With nobody bringing anything. I'm going to toggle it on and off. Boom. Boom. We've got plenty of power. There's plenty of plastic out there to be harvested. Hmm. Let's see if the map shows us anything. Does it show us anything? It'd be cool if it showed drones. It doesn't.
I'm a little concerned about my drone port here, not bringing in the plastic. I don't see any kind of status message telling me there's anything wrong. But this has been sitting set to plastic for quite a while. A little nervous. And it's got plenty of power. Speaking of power, I need to charge up. But yeah, it could be if the drones are going to bring in plastic so slow, we may not need any buffer, storage buffer. Even though we need tons of plastic, we may not need a buffer just because the production rate is going to be so slow. We'll consume that plastic before it has a chance to pile up in inventory. But I was thinking of putting these daisy chaining just... Put one with the, you know, input on this side, then the output, then an input, then an output kind of thing. And have a bunch of them so we could store a lot. I've got, incidentally, I've got tons of plastic over at Monolith 1 if we want to go fetch it. Quite a bit, actually. Hey, what, let's end this episode here. I'm going to do a little bit of thinking between episodes. But uh, I'm kind of leaning towards we'll have a dedicated drone port. That's working on plastic and maybe maybe we toggle that one to bring in the potassium every once in a while uh, that we need but mostly focused on plastic and then a new drone port to bring in the uh, rare metal scrap and just producing platinum ingots for us be a production line that kind of starts out a little further right along here this stretch here will need more um more foundations but yeah drone port and one of these guys a foundry and then um maybe these guys will each get their own fabricator or assembler in order to build the uh, parts so yeah, they each get a fabricator. One fabricator to do the roller crushers, potentially, and one to do the filters. They take the same inputs. It's just, man, we need a ton of these. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll see how we scale up. I'll give it some thought between episodes. Either way, we're going to forge ahead next episode. Try to get another production line going. And uh, hopefully... Start scaling things up because we've got a ton of materials to refine and produce. We got all our vials, our empty vials. That's all good. Um, we'll keep this existing production line in place to uh, produce the alloy for us because we're going to need a lot of that. But yeah, I'll wrap it up here for now. This is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series of Junk Punk. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Huge revelations on how much we need to build here since last episode. But man, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you are too. And I will see you all in the next episode.